Anything about the entertainment this afternoon? No, they did not. Oh, okay. What's the entertainment this afternoon? I, I'm not going to say anything in case it's the same thing. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything, but the potential for your prediction coming true is <laughs> improved if they're doing the same thing I think they will. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. All right. Good. So that was the second gear, second gear, second start. gear start? Yeah, just a little bit of second gear start unless you're loaded up pretty heavy or on a really steep. You'd have to find a, almost a 15% incline unloaded before it would trigger a first gear start. Oh, okay. And then ignore the wrong way signs. Okay. Just a suggestion. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is, we've done a lot of calibration work with this vehicle. 10,000 pound class 5 trailer connected to the, the rear hitch and then also a 21,000 pound gooseneck trailer in the bed connected okay. to the bed and even with the 10,000 pound trailer you, you will forget it's back there which is an interesting experience You can also do down speeding because you have such a deep first gear. This has a stock axle which is a 410. It really wants a 342 or 373. Because even if you put the faster axle in it, yeah. the first gear performance is still better than the original truck and transmission. And it'll slow your engine down about 250 RPM at cruise. So that would make a significant difference in fuel economy. Rolling oh, right, right. Or yeah. Anything. yeah, and if you're maneuvering in you know, close quarters and sometimes you do the rolling garage shift, this transmission doesn't mind it if you do it. So, rolling, if you're, dead, you're like going back, like just let it idle back. Oh, wow, okay. And you can be going, you know, up to three miles an hour, I think. Oh, for really? person do the rolling garage shift, so it's good for maneuvering. Some transmissions puke if you do that. I really don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's typically not something I would do with my own. Are we in uh, the neutral? Yeah, neutral idle. Uh, yep. Is that do you pair that with the the auto engine shut off? Like, is there a ben, you know? You can they have start and stop start. Stop you can start. pair it with it. Um, it's relatively independent of, okay. of stop start, but it can be paired with it. And you guys are saying uh, the, the neutral idle is worth 5% boost in fleet operations, normal mixed duty? And if you're doing Urban. a gym cycle that's a mixed city uh, highway, mm -hmm. mixed use classic gym cycle, it ends up being about 5%. Now, is, is that real world? Uh, you know, it, we've done some fuel economy testing and go up to 10% if you look at compared to the base 6-speed. Yeah. There's a 6-speed in this truck, which was by one company, or it's the 6-speed in a medium-duty box truck, which is by another company with the same first initial. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's it's considerable, and uh, neutral idle is, of course, baked into that also. Brakes here too. And when we first had the interaction with the exhaust brakes about a year ago, the software guys had the brakes on and off. Nice. And if the truck was unloaded, uh, it would try to put your forehead on the steering wheel when you lift foot. Yeah. It was full exhaust brakes unloaded. And now it's set up to where it just goes for a deceleration rate. Yeah, so no. the, the more load you have, the more brakes there are, but the deceleration right. rate is always the same whether you're loaded or unloaded. Right. Still pretty aggressive. Oh, it was really aggressive. It would bark the back tires. <laughs> You'd lift foot and it would bark the back tires. And if the road was wet, it got interesting <laughs> going through turns. So how much how much braking force is it now, do you know? I have Just no whatever. idea what the equivalent deceleration is. It's okay. probably like 100 horsepower or something like that. Okay. Equivalent. Yeah. I mean, we don't control the maximum. That's that's whatever your buddies in Columbus 
think so. your buddies in Auburn Hills came up with. Uh, okay, I see. We just can go up to 100% of whatever that is. I see, okay. That's fun. I mean, we, we've had it with trailers in the mountains. And it's fun to drive, easy to drive. Yeah, it is. It's really smooth.